Hi y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. I can't believe that I'm saying this, but today is travel day and that means I'm actually coming back with a new Walt Disney World vlog series. It's been a super long time, I know. I mean, it hasn't been a long time since I've been to Disney World. Um, it's just been a long time since I've done a vlog series. I was actually able to go to Disney World last year in 2021 four times. I didn't even do a proper vlog series for any of those, I don't think. Maybe one, but I don't think so. So anyway, so I'm excited to actually be coming back and doing this Disney World vlog series now. Today is actually travel day. It's, it's already been some drama going on. It's already been crazy. We've already had issues. Let me finish getting ready and then I'll tell you all about it. Okay, so we are driving to Disney World this time, but even though we're up at 7, actually earlier than 7, but on the road at 7 o'clock, we're actually not on our way just yet. Um, there was just a big, um, I I'm just going to call it fiasco, when we went to try to pick up our rental car yesterday. The rental car was booked months in advance for a minivan. The place we went to and went to go pick it up suddenly... Uh, tried to give us like a four-door car instead. They didn't have a minivan. They were charging us way more than the original reservation. They were charging us the amount that a minivan at other places would have been for like a four-door car. And basically a four-door car is not going to work for our trip. There's only four of us, but with a four-door car, it wasn't going to be enough room for us, our luggage, um, not to mention with mobility issues, it's hard to get in and out of the four-door car, so it just wasn't going to work out for us. It was very frustrating, very stressful last night. We made a last-minute reservation here at Enterprise. Um, we're just waiting now for them to open, and I'm crossing my fingers that they actually have what we want so that we can get on the road and get going. We we're hoping to already be on the road, but now we're going to be off a couple hours just because of this whole mess. So hopefully we get what we need. Okay, so good news. Uh, I feel so much better. We were able to get the minivan from this new rental place. I should have went there to begin with, but you know, what can you do? We were trying to save some money and all that did was cause us to um, kind of get delayed this morning. So now we're on our way back to our house. We're going to pack up and get ready and get on the road. So I'll see you guys soon. So I forgot to mention a couple of important details surrounding this trip. First of all, this trip was specifically taken so that me and one of my sons could participate in a 5K during the Run Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon Weekend. Second of all, a few months before this trip happened, I had a series of unfortunate events that caused me to make the decision that I was not going to renew my annual pass. Because I didn't have my annual pass anymore for this trip, I had to make a couple of adjustments. We still had to take the trip because Run Disney fees are not refundable but also i figured we could still go and just do less than we normally do so this was going to be a trip where we were only going to go to one park we had the race to go to and we were only going to epcot during our five nights day i knew we would just be hanging out in the room mostly but i had plans to do things like go to disney springs we were supposed to go mini golfing at one of the disney world mini golf courses i just was gonna like go resort hopping Things like that where I wasn't having to go to the parks every day. So it was a little bit of a different kind of trip for me, but I was all for it. And those are just things you need to know while you continue to watch. We're in Louisiana. I just don't like this drive. I'm just not one to do a road trip, but still got a couple more hours before we stop for the night. night on the road seemed so much longer than usual. By the time we got to the hotel in Hattiesburg, it was after 11 o'clock. We were all so tired. Basically, we all just went to bed almost immediately so we could get up and get going for the next day.
Hi y'all. We finally made it to Old Key West. It was such a long day. It was a long day yesterday. I don't enjoy this drive to get here, but it it just was the cheapest way for us to do it this time. I'm very tired. It's about 8.30 and we got here about 30 minutes ago. Tonight we just grabbed something to eat. We'll go do our groceries, um, get our groceries tomorrow sometime because we're just too tired and we just want to come and relax in the room. I probably won't even unpack till tomorrow. <sighs> I'm happy to be here though. Very excited. Um, I'm glad I didn't have anything planned for today since we got here way later than we thought we'd get here, but that's okay. We're here now. So the plans for tomorrow, um, we're just going to go for sure to Disney Springs and then after that we're kind of playing it by ear, but for now I'm just going to get some sleep. I'm going to actually get to sleep late since I don't have a park to go to. I'm not getting up early and uh, I'll bring you guys with us to see what we start doing tomorrow. So the next thing you see will be us probably going to Disney Springs. Okay, so today is Wednesday. It's the next morning after we arrived. I've put on the same clothes because I've just been lazy and laying around. I slept late. Um, I haven't actually gotten dressed for the day. I still have to get ready, so I just threw this back on until um, I get ready here shortly. But it was nice to actually sleep in a little bit. I came out here on our patio just to enjoy some time out here. But we're gonna get ready to go I think we're going to go get some groceries, we're just going to kind of drive around a little bit, come back, relax again, and then I'm going to get ready to go to, to Disney Springs. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy the view out here for a little bit and then we'll get ready to go. grocery pickup at Walmart wasn't until 2 o'clock, so we actually left the room before then and went and just got fast food for lunch. We decided to try something different and we got lunch at Checkers. My mom had read that they had really good chicken bites, but to be honest, the Checkers lunch was not very good. I probably will never eat there again and I don't recommend going there. When it was finally time to get the pickup from Walmart, we just went to Walmart and picked it up. I didn't do any video of most of this stuff. Not only because I was driving, but I mean, it's not that exciting to show us going to fast food places and picking up groceries from the Walmart pickup area. Once we got back to our room and unpacked the groceries, I made sure everything was settled and then I decided to see who was going to go with me to Disney Springs. It ended up only being me and my oldest son, Zadron. So we got in our minivan and drove to Disney Springs. Since I was using the GPS to get to Disney Springs, it actually led us instead of to any of the actual parking garages it led us to the watermelon and the mango parking lots which are right there across from Cirque du Soleil so we parked in I think it was actually the mango parking lot and then the security line to get into Disney Springs from there there was like no one in line so it's super easy to park and go across that street and get into Disney Springs right away <laughs> Thank you. 
but they got cute croc selection for people who do wear crocs. Making our way over to the world of Disney now to check out some stuff, see what they have there. So we actually did go to World of Disney, but it was moderately busy in there. I couldn't really film too much, but I couldn't find the item that I need for my friend. So we're just gonna look at a couple of the places and get out of here. It looks real cloudy, so we're probably gonna get ready to leave so we don't get rained on because I left our ponchos in the room. We were taking guesses on how much this might be. And I said like 4,000 or 7,000 and my son said 9,000 and it's $250,000, way off. So we were at Disney Springs. I got to most of the places I wanted to look at. I still didn't find the tin of mints that I'm looking for. And I was going to go to a couple of more stores like Goofy's Candy Company and, you know, just look at a couple more places. But then it started to sprinkle and I was worried that if we kept going to where I wanted to look, that we'd end up getting rained on really hard and I left the ponchos in the room. So now we're just going to head back to the room and do some more of the same thing we've been doing, which is just chilling in the room and not doing anything. So it started raining pretty hard right after we left the parking lot of Disney Springs, so I guess I'm glad that we left. I don't know if you can hear that helicopter. Anyway, I guess I'm glad that we left when we did because I didn't take a poncho when I wasn't feeling like getting soaking wet um, just walking around Disney Springs, but it was fun while it lasted. I still have a couple of days that I can go back and look for anything else I'm looking for. But it's nice just to come here now back to my room at Old Key West and sit on the patio. Um, it was nice listening to the rain. So I'm just going to sit out here with my snack, my Dr. Pepper, and my favorite, which is cinnamon bears. And just kind of take everything in and listen to, I guess, the sprinkles. It's not raining anymore, but it's just a nice, peaceful, nice, peaceful little moment out here, out on the patio now. You know, I'm finding it a weird kind of thing for me to not be going to the parks um, and quote unquote finding stuff to do. I kind of expected to be at Disney Springs longer, but since it started raining, um, I decided to leave and I was like, I'll go back, you know, either tomorrow or Friday and go check out it again, which I can definitely do, but it's just weird having all of this, what I'm calling free time during my trip that I'm not going to the parks. I thought I was going to be napping a lot more and I have not even napped, although I did sleep pretty well last night, but I did not take a nap today like I thought I would take a nap. So I don't know, I don't know, I just, finding, I just find it weird to do this little kind of stay in the room staycation type of vacation instead. I'm definitely excited about Saturday coming up and going to Epcot 
And for sure I'm excited about the race on Friday morning just because it's something that's like planned and I'll go out and, and do that. But then we have all Friday to do whatever because the race is only Friday morning. If it stops raining here in a little bit, I might go up to the hospitality house here and go look at the gift shop. By the way, I don't think I bothered to say welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Shandell and I used to do Disney vlogs more frequently and I haven't done them in a long time so welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you've never been here before. Either way, I'm glad you're here. I think I'm ending the vlog here. I feel like I didn't do very much but tomorrow I have um, a few more things to do. We're going to the race expo to get a race packet and then there's kind of more things that I'm doing as opposed to what I did today. It's just super weird not to be doing the parks every day like I usually do. I hope to see you next time. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell just so you'll know every time I post a new video, which will be more often now that I'm doing this vlog. That's all for now, you guys. See you real soon.